one use? How does it sound? How will it work? And even how would they do it? Well, change, they say, is inevitable. And that is exactly what we were about. Being credible, authoritative, professional, and most importantly, a trusted news source. You can see behind me is a huge OB track uh, fitted with all the facilities for OB transmission. We have taken up issues of social justice and I think so far so good. We are executing it very well. We are seeking justice for a lot of people, people who hitherto didn't know who to run to. Stick to your grounds and, and say, hey, you have to do what we have to do. So frame your shot, stand by, anchor stand by, MCR stand by and then we are on air. We get feedback, sometimes we get bashed in all of this. It's not like it's been a rosy one year journey. In a country where the news broadcasting landscape is highly competitive, the team needed to convince discerning Ghanaians why they had to spend their precious 60 minutes and even more with us. Expectations were deepened owing to the fact that our flagship current affairs program, State of Affairs and the morning show, GH Today had already raised the bar so high that the team could not afford to slack. You are too small. Oh. Let me tell you, you are I too small. I am to all journalists. This is the map that you me. went and did, and some people went and beat you up. Yeah. I am telling you. They are still supporting them. What do you mean by I supporting? I never argued with any. And so, we first hit the airwaves and got social media buzzing with our news promo that perhaps, for obvious reasons, did shake some newsrooms. For close to a month, everybody was talking about it. Hello. This is Nana Abba Anamwa. GH1 News puts the focus back on news with added insight and analysis, bringing you news where it happens, how it happens, and when it happens. We believe in getting you all sides of the story. This is what news means to us, day and night. Top-notch technology, beautiful studios, and above all, a technical team made up of people with wealth of experience. They were poised to deliver. We had the best, the highest grade of equipment that uh, one can think of in this country then. So we, we, we actually delivered with, with those equipments and the, the results was very, very clear on our screens. The equipments are still <laughs> the best that you can think of in this country. Although we've used the equipment for, for, for months, what we are entering into is a new area and we really need to deliver. We need to uh, put our first step forward and make sure everything is done and is done well. Don't forget, we have a lot of competition. They are watching us. They, some, of, some of them called to wish us well and some of them I know that they would have wished we tripped. It was the 3rd of October 2016. An entire nation was put on tenterhooks. The day of reckoning has come and the razzmatazz would have to be translated into real action. I remember around midday, our founder came here. He came here with his son. I'm sure that they came here not to put pressure on us, but to see our preparedness and our, our readiness for our first bulletin. When I say first bullet, you should understand. We are coming from the background of, of a, an entertainment TV station where we don't care about elections. During elections, all we do is to play music. It was tense. Our bosses started descending, wanting to be sure that uh, everything was in place. In fact, because we, we, we psyched ourselves and got ourselves well prepared, we were also very sure that we were going to deliver. Producer at the time, Jojo Kobna, had the arduous task of putting together all the compelling content, content that would hold viewers spellbound for the entire week and even subsequently. Around that time, I mean, election campaigning was on. Everyone else was talking about politics, politics, politics. We wanted a, very, a social story that everyone relates to. For example, um, sanitation and public bathrooms, how are they treated? And this is a school of hygiene. I remember at that time, Issa had released a report on the state of um, education in Ghana. Alice Aite told a very important story of how a child could not even spell a very simple word. 
after all was said and done, the bubbly, energetic, beautiful and ever eloquent Nanaba Namwa was sure to be in her element. Indeed, she was a delight to watch. Welcome to G81 News Tonight. Coming to you live from the Platinum High Studios in Accra. Hello, good evening. Welcome to News Tonight on GH1. My name is Nana Abba Anamwa, EIB Election Hub. Of course, you've heard so much about it because it is your most credible source for everything concerning the 2016 elections. And GH1 News did set the agenda, shining the light in the shadows. You said you are in class 3, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, yes. spell yes. girl. G I. Girl is G I R L. Spell girl. G R O L. G I R L. G I L L. But more importantly was the irony of Ghana's School of Hygiene. The stench that greets a visitor upon entry is overpowering. With cracks on walls, peel and ceiling, dirty dysfunctional toilet bowls, and mildew infested surfaces. Get off me. Get off. Go, go, go. Are you telling me what to do? No, I'm only telling you. Please let me tell you. I'm a Christian. I understand. But what I'm saying is. Oh! No, so you don't let me talk. Sorry, sir. Okay. Then out. Sorry, sir. Because I'm the authority here. If you go to the Bible, Romans chapter 30, verse 1 to 7, go and read the cover. So that's in Romans chapter 13, one. he says we should go read the scripture well. In a matter of weeks, GH1 News had become a household name and Ghanaians couldn't wait to have more. But the team already had a package for them and that was Newsroom with the ravishing Kemini Amano pulsating presentation. Isaac, you were telling us what else you know about this story. Uh, go ahead critical analysis we'll get into a conversation on why these political uh, of these chiefs can't seem to get off that wagon of endorsing publicly uh, presidential candidates or political parties and going live wherever the news breaks <laughs> spot and we saw fire raining from heaven boom spreading all the so i thought the word is coming to an end it is a big lie he should go to mnc and then find out if you are wanted the nurses or not what's the meaning of that mnc you have your job you don't want to know that we are wanted nurses if you shouldn't bring yourself this morning at all Shit. with 2016 being an election year the task appeared endless for the gh1 news team <laughs> The EIB election hub campaign had gone viral and once again, expectations were riding very high. 7th December, as our hosts and expert analysts provide in-depth analysis on the election 2016 as to fall. Compelling, credible, comprehensive coverage. But the team was still in charge generating the discourse on all the critical issues likely to define the outcome of the elections. You've listed the things that the people in the constituency like. They like the hospitals, they like the schools, they like the clinics, they like the development going on there. Do they like the filth in that constituency? Well, you know, development is a process. Today in Kolegono, they appreciate the environment in which we are in. I have never said, neither has the president, we have never said that we have attended to everything. 
from voters' voice. Ask him that what the patrol one gallon, how much now? This is how much cost now? Now, even if you want to the filling station, ask them that how much of the patrol? He, he, they, they even don't know. To community watch. Your opponent says that you're buying votes with this because it's just a few, you know, days to election, and if you are doing this. This is vote buying. When I get to the community and they say they need it, it's about getting them what they are in need of. So I ask, was that the case of the security agencies caught taking a little nap in their bid to deal with the flashpoints ahead of the elections? Anything that had to do with the elections was under our taps until the countdown was over. <laughs> If somebody says the country is going back, and no one may be one meters, I can't think far. I can't think far. From the 6th of December 2016, our teams of competent reporters were already dotted across the nooks and crannies of Ghana, gauging the mood wherever possible. The new patriotic party. Yes, this uh, morning address a news conference at the party office. If you've been able to speak to the officials of the EC there, if they have received all their materials. They are ready, they have all the materials and um, hopefully tomorrow uh, Tamale would have a smooth process. At the crack of dawn on the 7th of December, the proper election coverage had begun in earnest. We had the equipment, the reporters, the presenters, the analysts to do the work. Voting started at exactly 7.15 right here at the Datus Montessori Crutch 2, Wigwashi, Aigwe Town. What can you say about uh, Ghana's election? So far, I think the election is going very smoothly, and I really want to commend both the people of Ghana and the Electoral Commission. From the Dadikotokon constituency, specifically the Ragun Primary School polling station. We started off from Tema East in the Greater Accra region, one of the areas where people would want to look for, look out for. With Nanaba Anamwa as lead anchor, Kemini Amano, Bernard Nasara Saibu, Kafu Ide, Beisua Douna Hammond, Kweku Obiyeje, Abena Ousu Nyameche as presenters and Dr. Kwesi Enin and Professor Bafo Ajimandria as lead analysts, the EIB election hub delivered in grand style. Is that to maintain that? To maintain that. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Yes, we, but I mean, I'm, I mean, it's quite good to see people uh, humorous and happy. From the flashpoint, voters have actually masked up at the Polation Center, which is at the Engineer Center on the Accra High Street wanting to observe the collation of the entire results as well and the security personnel here is having a real tight is finding it difficult to disperse the crowd over here i'll 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 i'll, I'll, I'll give you the opportunity to also talk okay all right okay so go ahead what is the information oh okay yeah okay. all right so go ahead they brought a di give me yeah. information here don't give me the yeah. information to the polling stations <laughs> And even at the collation centers, the team dominated with minutes by minutes live updates, clear pictures, and mind blowing graphics comprehensive analysis of results as they trickled in. On behalf of the Electoral Commission, I declare Ahmed Atta as an MP elect for Okankwe South constituency. Thank you very much. I remember we had to sleep over for some days. Breakfast was brought in the morning, we had lunch and then we had supper. Uh, we were directing intense. So what happens is that when one takes over, 
you'd have to take some rest, maybe go home, take your shower and come back. But some of us decided to stay over because of the love for the world. Whether it was covering the nook and cranny of the country, bringing the stories that mattered as it, the news broke, they were there, bringing the big news makers, at every angle of the report from the uh, new strong room or the collation uh, centers through to the field where the violence incidents were breaking i mean or the big guys who were voting or the voter education campaign through to what what have you election have nailed it through gh1 news with integrity being the hallmark of the GH1 News team, we kept to our word of providing a comprehensive coverage before, during and especially after the elections. It is my duty and my privilege to declare Nana Adodankwa Akufuado as a President-elect of the Republic of Ghana. Fellow Ghanaians, you have not elected me to serve one party, but to serve the entire nation. The president of Ghana is president for every single Ghanaian. It has been without a doubt one of the most tremendous privileges of my life to serve this great nation as president and to work on behalf of all Ghanaians. I leave it to history to be the judge of my time and contributions while in that highest office. It was not therefore surprising that we fed Ghanaians with around-the-clock updates on all the major post-election happenings, from the transition process right to the inauguration of the new government. But let's go to the Independence Square now. We've got live uh, visuals from there. Armstrong and Lugbe is there. Thank you, Armstrong, for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us? What's happening there? Right behind me, you could see some supporters also lying on the floor. Budget design. Okay. Now, in some way, I me now. Oh dear, I said, Alumu, Alumu, and I said, You have an idea. Uh, one idea, and the Uso Uba is a Uba share inauguration ceremony. Nothing to there by you have two giant cows uh, that have been uh, tethered or tied there, and tomorrow they are going to be slaughtered for that massive celebration after the inauguration. Wow, we are in the living room of the Baumia family, and there you have the senior brother of um, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We monitored, tracked the vice president's campaign all the way to his hometown, and how the, the, his, 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 his folks, uh, whether it was the family folks or just um, indigents within his community, you know, wi wishing him well and, and monitoring him, not on any other platform, but on GH1 News. For us, that was a good... And bear in mind, the background is that this is a brand that has been predominantly um, associated with entertainment. It wasn't taken seriously. And suddenly, causing heads to be lifted and to be tilted towards our screen, from parliament through to the presidency. Tell us, where haven't we been? There is no belaboring the point that the news has got bigger and even better with the inclusion of segments such as Timeline, On Our Radar, Rural Markets and a host of others. Viewers for the longest time got bored, is it fed up with um, the status quo uh, because you tune into TV news and everybody is doing the stories that are running throughout the day. Um, so you tune into station A and station B is doing it maybe with different guests but the real issues about water supply, about sanitation, about security, about people, children who cannot afford education, children who have to cross rivers to school, the real issues were not being highlighted and we thought that we have one hour uh, in the evening and another hour in the morning to highlight all of this, so how do we do it? By getting every eyeball to realize the real challenges that we have in this country. It's the reason we came up with all of these segments, uh, the timelines and uh, on our radar, just so that people identify with a lot of these stories. They know that if my, my story doesn't make it on station A, I know that on timeline, they're going to focus on something that's so close to me, so dear to me. The real issues that really matter to the people. There was a time that I, I nearly fell into a weather or drowned when I visited one of the towns in the Volta region where we had to 
swim across a river because there was nothing to I mean, carry as a cause. There was no king. Everybody else has to swim and then I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. So it's either someone puts you on his or her shoulder or you find a way of walking through the river. I nearly fell into the river. And there was a time that I, I, I went to work on this, a report in the Upper West region where we visited a Galamse site and I had to enter into one of the pits. I was scared, but I had to do it for the love of the job. It's, it's fulfilling. It's fulfilling working with reporters and making sure at least we get results when we, we do stories and you know, we're able to look for aid for people, deprived people, and at the end of the day, you have you know, people come to their aid and all. It's kind of fulfilling and I feel touched. And I'm very privileged working with the team we have here. We continue to go the extra mile of furnishing viewers with in-depth analysis of the major issues on Insights, which also includes getting your views on various social media platforms heard. We were born in the age of the digital media, so it was a facet of the brand. It wasn't just television and we were trying to find our way onto the digital media platform. We engage people with the trending news items. We try and get the news very exciting via the polls, via interactive posts, and via a lot of mediums on social media so that they can interact with us and ask questions. We want to be the number one news source. And so this has been the driving force online. Even though Ghana is seen as a safe operating environment for journalists, the country is fast gaining a rather negative reputation. With the GH1 news team being just a year old, it has had its reporters being harassed, beaten up or battered in the line of duty. Two security men who claimed to be from the Mokola shopping mall approached us that we should hand over our equipments to them. And he's twisting my hand to take off the camera. It's not the right thing. What if he breaks my hand? So based on that, I refuse to hand over my camera to him. It is an undeniable fact that the GH1 News team continues to churn out content that tickles the intellect, making our discerning viewers wanting to be an active part of the national development agenda. When you watched our news, you felt like you had received a full meal on any particular issue, whether running or we have put together to set an agenda, essentially to make our platform the go-to platform so that we will be able to shift the attention of uh, the audiences out there to us that is great, great anchors that have the experience, they have the presence on the screen as well. Great content put together by the best hands. It's not every story that you see us caring about to go cover, no, we don't do that. We weigh and see what impact that story is going to make. And so even within the one year that we have been in existence, you can see that our stories have made a lot of impact. I mean, you have spoken to Alizaite, you yourself putting together this documentary, Red One, I mean, you've done a lot of impactful stories. And GH1 News, for just one year, we have become a force to reckon with. And I know that those who are already entrenched in the media I even scared. In the newsroom, we believe progress is about people, hence our unrelenting quest to go beyond the barriers and even overcome our internal challenges to get that important story told. We are not going to relent on our efforts to put the real issues at number one. We are not going to stop being the voice of the voiceless. We are not going to, to, to follow the bandwagon what everybody is doing. We're not going to do that. We want to be different. We want to be outstanding. We want to be associated with the real issues. And so viewers should expect more. If they think that we, we started on the right foot and we started very well, well, it's just a year. Uh, the subsequent years are going to be even more interesting. Even as we celebrate one year of credible news and unparalleled broadcasting, we remain committed to giving voice to the voiceless and being a perfect accountability vehicle to drive all the issues that matter to you. Results of hard work is more work 
So I think people are expecting to see more on GH1 News. And we are also poised to, to give them more, to bring more quality content, bring or tell good stories that will help transform lives just as we have done in just a year. We promise to, to give Ghanaians more. Ghanaians should expect more from the newsroom, should expect more from the technical department, should expect more from the, the whole EIB network. And I think that we are charged more than ever. One year on, we still want to continue to partner with the public. We want to be bigger and larger. And I can assure our audiences that the womb of creativity that actually birthed the GH1 news is still, is still alive and is still creating. It has never stopped. And so they must expect even greater things to come. As we mark one year of being your trusted news source, the GH1 News team renews and pledges its unerring commitment to telling compelling stories with strong originality that hold viewers' attention through to the end and keep them coming back for more.